Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, here with my Axial SEX10 II on the RC Workstation, and I'm about to swap out the stock ESC and motor and put in an aftermarket ESC and motor. Now, I've been running the stock ESC and motor for about two years now, and I have no trouble with them whatsoever, but I want to upgrade to something a little bit different. So, let me show you what I decided to go for in this vehicle here. So first off, we're gonna talk about the motor. So I picked up a Reedy 16 turn 540 series brush motor. Now this thing is really awesome for what I've been told and seen, this is supposed to be a really great motor. So this is an ultra smooth five slot amateur, uh, dual ball bearings, adjustable timing, and also completely rebuildable motor which is very nice so let's go ahead and pull it out the box real quick just to take a little you know, look at it now it comes in a nice little foam box with so that says high quality <laughs> i don't know all right but make it funny so here is the motor beautiful motor really digging it my friends so i really can't wait to get that in there and see what this uh, little motor here can do to the vehicle all right, so let's talk about the ESC that I decided to go with. Now, I decided to go with a very popular ESC, and this is one I have in a few of my vehicles. I got the <clears throat> Hobbywing 1080 brushed ESC, crawler ESC that is. Now, this is a really sweet ESC. It has a lot of features, uh, one being it has 15 different programmable features. So you can really go in here and open this thing up and really tune your vehicle for you know maximum performance and stuff so i really like that uh also comes with a programming card so you can actually program it right there on the fly you don't have to plug it at no computer or anything you can do it right there on the card which i will show you the card actually so here it is so that is the programming card very very simple to use it actually has the menu of showing what everything is also on the back as well try to give you guys a closer view if the camera can focus and see it let's see yeah all right so turn it around there you go now take a look at the esc itself like i said it's a micro esc so this thing is pretty small which is very nice because this saves a lot of room on your vehicle and putting it places where you uh, you couldn't do with the traditional ESC, so that's really nice. So yeah, and this is also waterproof, and it is uh, compatible up to a two cell, uh, two two to three cell lipo, as a built-in BEC of six volts to seven point four volts. So that is really nice. So you can really so if you have a servo that's running seven point four, you can do it on here. So that's nice. Now, one of the things about this ESC is that you have to solder on your own connections. Uh, it does not come with any connections on it, so you have to solder your own ones. So your own motor leads, your own battery leads, so, so yeah. So not a really big issue, but it would be nice if they did have that feature where it already had everything soldered. So for people who don't really know too much, could use this ESC, but this is a more technical ESC than anything else. All right, so enough with me yappy, yappy, yappy. Let's go ahead and start getting into the vehicle, get the old ESC and motor out and put the new one in and give it a whirl and see what I think about it. I know that the testing of uh, the different settings and stuff, I'll have to really go through that and figure out all that good stuff. So, all right, my friends. So let's go ahead and get into it.
right, friends. The new setup in the SCX-10 II with the new ESC and motor is fully installed and looking great. I really am digging this. I also went back and tidied up the wires, give it a more clean look instead of having a bunch of wires all over the place. I don't really like a bunch of wires everywhere. I want everything to be kind of nice and neat so that way it'd be a lot easier to work on. But yeah. Now, I am not completely done with this yet. Uh, we still got to do the programming of the ESC. And with this having 15 different types of programming features, this is something that I'm probably going to do off the camera just because I want to give my 100% focus on tuning this ESC and setting the settings to where I want them to be at. And so that's going to take a little time and going through and playing around and seeing what I think is going to work and all that. So I don't want to do a video on that right yet, but when I do get everything uh, kind of where I want it at, I will show y'all uh, what my settings are and what I choose and all that good stuff. So yeah, so settings or programming the ESC, also my controller because of course I bet you that there are some settings that are kind of out of whack now uh, with being a new ESC in there and everything. <laughs> so yeah. All right, my friends. So I hope that y'all like this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you guys got any questions whatsoever, comment down below. I'll be happy to answer them if I can. <laughs> and like always, uh, subscribe. And I will see y'all later. Thanks for watching.